Thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. We hit that in the beginning of June. The amount of support from the likes and comments on my recent videos has just been unreal. Do you know of any Easter eggs in Old School RuneScape? And no, I'm not talking about this holiday Easter egg right here. I'm talking about secret features or mechanics placed inside of the game that is usually hidden from the community until it's discovered by one of the players. These are often strange occurrences, references to the real world, or a joke from the game's developers. Let's check out some of the uh, cool Easter eggs in Old School RuneScape today. Did you know if you head up to the deep wilderness volcano and use a gold ring on the lava, a goblin will appear saying, My precious, no! This is a direct reference to Lord of the Rings when Gollum falls into Mount Doom after ripping off the ring from Frodo. It's a very cool Easter egg that they included in the game. A Monty Python reference is revealed if players use a herring on almost any tree in Gilinor. The chat box will state, this is not the mightiest tree in the forest. This is a direct reference to one of the lines in the movie. But if a player uses it on the grand tree, it will read, it can't be done. If you examine an ogre standard outside of Castle Wars, it will read, not very high. I found this pretty funny when I discovered it, and I reference it to the Shrek movies because he too is an ogre with not very high standards because he only likes other ogres. Do you all remember trying to complete Monkey Madness 1 as a kid or even as an adult? Did you know after you complete Monkey Madness 1, you can actually head back to the Artie Zoo to pick up another monkey. You can do this repetitively. You must have a Gree Gree on you, speak to a zoo guard. Once he puts you inside the monkey cage, you can then speak to a monkey, put them in your backpack, and then you have to travel to Karamaja by foot, and you can release the monkey on Karamaja, and you'll get two times the amount of XP in your thieving level. This next one is pretty good, and it could be a possible moneymaker. Do you know what a clockwork cat is? Well, if you have 1 to 28 of them in your inventory when you die, they will all scatter around the area for about 30 seconds before despawning. You can buy or create these with a plank and a clockwork. Just use it on your crafting table. It has to be level 4, and you must have at least 85 crafting. If you have a jar of souls in your inventory and you use it on the soul altar in Arceus, it will cause Sister Soul to appear. She'll perform a dance emote. She's a reference to Sister Soldier, who was an American author, recording artist, and film producer. All right, and for this one, you're going to want to be on the Lunar Spellbook, so you can cast the spell called Dream, which is one Cosmic, two Astral, and five Body Runes. You do want the Jar of Dreams in your inventory and some low HP. We're going to go ahead and cast this. Also do want your volume on. So let's see if this actually captures what's going to happen. Cast dream. The guy gets a little sleepy. Screen gets dark. And did you see that? That's kind of freaky right there. You get the uh, ACB crossbow spec noise. And the nightmare's face shows up as the, the uh, screen goes black there. So a pretty cool Easter egg. Props to whoever found that. For this next one, I don't recommend it, but it's pretty cool. Did you know if you buy a bottle of rum from the Trouble Brewing minigame and then drink it, it gives you a character that death animation and then it teleports you to the actual minigame itself. It's great for, I guess, like freaking people out, but that's about it. Because it's not a great use of uh, points when you can just use the minigame teleports you got there. Do you know the fastest way to the Lumbridge Swamp? And no, it's not home teleport. If you head to the third floor of the Dark Wizard's Tower, just west of Faldor, you could talk, talk to the wizard Xandar. And if you don't stop talking to him, he'll actually teleport you to the Lumbridge Swamp. So, hey, it's a free teleport. For our last one here, I don't expect you to know this one. I had to find this on my own. But if you talk to any of the privates walking around in the Barbarian Outpost, they could make your character perform some of the drill instructor emotes. So you'll be doing push-ups, uh, five-star jumping jacks, sit-ups, stuff like that. Pretty cool.